The well, snowshoe is the most unique GNCC on the tour. It's the most mountainous terrain that we traverse. It happens at a ski resort. The entire mountain comes to life whenever a GNCC comes to town here. We started the ATV race, you know, a lot of eyes were on those front two rows. Walker Fowler, who's battling for an XC1 class championship right now, and uh, also his teammate, Cole Richardson, who is the XC2 points leader. It was kind of likely that Cole could be a, a contender and a player for taking an overall win, and that's one thing that he's really been gunning for these last couple of seasons. I think for both he and Walker and the entire XC1 and XC2 uh, race out there, the bottom fell out basically, the rain started falling, and it became quite a bit of an obstacle and challenge just simply because of the slickness of everything getting so wet. As we know, the conditions deteriorated like it was, he, and ends up finishing in second place. It just, I've never seen that much rain come down at once. There was, uh, there was water falling from the track, and I'm just, uh, this bad behind this our back you know, he was pushing so hard like everybody was, and that water was splashing up everywhere, and he sucked water in, and you know, the machine started running and spitting and sputtering, and then oftentimes riders can give up, or they can ride the machine wrong and, and not be able to limp the machine to the finish line, but the most important thing about Cole is he knows how to go fast and uh, salvage what he can. Brutal, <laughs> muddy, wet, rocky, literally everything, <laughs> but it was fun. One of the motorcycle things coming in here, you know, uh, you got the young Grant Baylor, he's a rookie in the XC1 Pro class, and if he gets off to a bad start, that doesn't mean his day's over, and that's what's so unique about Grant, because he can take a mediocre or bad start and turn it into something pretty spectacular by the day's end, and seeing it here in the mountains of West Virginia and the conditions that we saw it in, it was, it was a good positive light as what the future holds for Grant. Jordan is a pretty remarkable rider, you know. Um, Sometimes he's easy to kind of, but I think more in a sense of forget because as spectacular of a rider as he is, he's also just so consistent and quiet about it and he just, you know, just kind of slides right into where he needs to be, he does what he needs to do and he gets the job done. You know, he's not a big flash of, hey, here I come and this and that, you know, he's really a humble guy and he rides like that. And, and it translates into his riding style and it translates into his finishes. We've seen the same Jordan Ashburn, that great consistency that he's got, and he goes and he puts it all together again today at Snowshoe. And I think, you know, we still haven't seen everything that Jordan Ashburn's got. I think there's a lot more to come.